Hello everybody and fresh off our level 60 quest where we have our fancy schmancy new skill It's time to fuck with some Alagon relics. Oh, yeah. I Mean they've been 5,000 years after they've been dead. They've been kind of screwing with us It's only right that we come in here and find fucking up their shit even if they're not allowed to see this So we're here, but now we gotta find them Okay, that's quite a big assumption. But I'm just gonna assume blah 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 stuff written about Alag and whatnot that's in that's in books and this is just our first opportunity to actually like fuck with it. So it's possible we've we have been knowledgeable about this existed, but that knowledge has done us no good till now and that's why it's you know, it it, it just seems to come out of nowhere. Um I'm 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 willing to kinda give it that a little bit. Because, I mean, if it wasn't relevant before, why, you know, in the past, why mention it? You know, if we didn't actually have Alagon stuff to actually physically fuck with, you know, all the knowledge about what that stuff does, does us no good. Yeah, that's one hell of a cloaking device I have on here. Palestinian is way the hell over here. Ominous presence, huh? I don't know. Palestinian, you might want to elaborate. Dragons? Huh, okay, well that must be the ominous presence you feel. And oh, we can't fly in this zone yet, ugh. But thankfully, thankfully, there are no aether currents in this area. All of the currents are actually quest-based. Which is really kinda nice because, yeah, they're, they're kinda- they're kinda just speeding it up here now. Maybe it's broken, plug it in! Oh jeez. All right, all right, all right. Thankfully our map will tell us just where he is. Why is the destination part so far away from the camp? Wedge, what did you do? What kind of trouble did you get into? As far as they didn't make us use the chat box to like yell for him. Uh, that's a pretty funny, run funny looking rock you've tripped over. English is hard. Yeah, what are you doing this far out? Uh, are you sure about that? Huh. Um... Okay. What the hell is this thing? Okay? We're just gonna roll with this, I guess. 
I mean, not that we have any other leads to go on anyway, but... Alright. He's named it all, oh, man. That's funny. Yeah, like everyone else just kind of like... Oh, there she is. Okay, now where is Alphano? Because he was over there before and now he's not there. Yeah, we we got this covered, okay? Get your ass over here now. Estinia and you too. Yeah, we did. Now get your butt over here. Where the hell is Shorty Pants go? There you are. Hi, we found something. Get your butt over here. Alright, so the rest of the people don't want to join the party, so I guess it's just us for now. Excuse me, you did not register as a user. See, Wedge is authorized, so he can do this. Well, I am too, but let's have let's let's have Wedge let his have his day in the limelight, okay? It's about time we three showed up. Yeah, tell me where those bastards are if you can. That's a good idea, Sid. Oh, like anyone's gotta fucking know this place is 5,000 years old. Well, damn. Hurry up and follow! Time of the essence, guys! Yeah, we're only one quest in. We get our first Aether current already! Alright! Oh, which wants a puppy? Yeah, Simon's like, what the fuck, dude? Ah, okay, all right. Yeah, and you're not an authorized user anymore, so you're not allowed to give commands anymore. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, let, tell me where to get access to this crap. I'm a registered user, so I'm allowed to know. Wow, 
Oh, well, at least you're actually being polite in that, you know, actually warning us of this. Yeah, whatever happened to Maggie anyway? We just kind of, like, abandoned her for... Well, technically, I guess she's now our mount, but... Plot-wise, we, we just kind of abandoned her after, uh... The Praetorium. No, no. It's idiot. No, you're with us. You follow us. Alright? Alright. Well, technically, we're already in, but it doesn't serve any good to send you home because then we'll be all trapped here. Okay, that works. Need the four of us who actually know how to kick some ass to go on the adventure to kick some ass. So yeah, besides the familiar smog in the air, um, obviously you shall take notice of uh, the fact that one of the things in here we've actually seen before, obviously, in the coils, which, well, duh, it makes sense, because they were all built by the Oligons. But yeah, not sure why they have all these, like, fire sprites and shit here, but I'm um, just not really going to question it for now. But yeah, so much dirt everywhere, and place the pain in the butt to, to navigate at least at first mainly because obviously we can't fly here and much of the zone is like the sea of clouds is restricted by flight now I need to kill this clockwork engineer real quick because it's firm in my hunting log okay continuing on then Well, these clockwork guys are, how, are what we've seen before in turn 4, where I can't remember what the hell they were called then. But it doesn't really matter at the time. Really does not. Hey guys! So you guys made it here through, you're afraid in one piece. Are you sure it's a dead end? See? See? Alpha knows a smart one. You know, it does have a sign saying Alagon Teleporter right above it. Now, if you'd stop, like, posing and turning your head away from everything, like you're a smug little bastard, maybe you would actually be able to read that. Just saying, Estidian. Come on. I wonder, and, and this is just just entirely ran, a random thought, not like a rant in any way, shape, or form. Why these teleporters are off by default? Um, is it just to, to 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 save energy? Maybe that you know it's it's like turning on and off a light when you leave a room, kind of thing. Maybe. I mean, it would help explain why this place, five thousand years later, is is still functional. I mean, it's got to have some kind of energy source. In order to keep it running. But it's very possible it's just extremely energy efficient. That would certainly help. So now we are in the Beta Quadrant. Well, Estinian, do you have any better fucking ideas? Same with you, Shirley. Do you have a better idea? Yeah, I just got done talking about that, Alphano. But, good for noticing. Damn.
That'd be a long time. Yeah, let's steal it. Take that technology for ourselves. That leg is gonna fuck with us, it might as well help us too. Uh huh. You heard him, guys. Don't feed the animals. I love how everyone like has to like change their position so they can actually walk off. I find that kind of funny. So yeah, as you can see, we kind of have to take a long way around here, which is a pain in the ass. And of course, with no map other than like the compass to see what's immediately ahead of you, um, it's very easy to kind of get lost in here a bit. Uh, simply because you, by virtue of you have no idea where the fuck you are supposed to go. You know, for all you guys complaining about, you know, not trusting this node and whatever, um, you guys sure are making it through here without much trouble. Well, you stole that. That's not really a problem. Because they're all dead. The what? Oh, they're actually going to split up and help us. Awesome. Now, unfortunately, that does mean, obviously, we have to backtrack to literally where we just were. Which is really annoying and kind of really just really stupid. Because at this point, it's padding. It, it really is just goddamn padding. And I hate it as a result of this. Like, if we had to go back a little bit, that would be fine, but, like, we have to, like, backtrack, like, this entire area. It's like, why? Alright, I'm here. Now I get to pointlessly murder things. Now, like, my question is, like, why do they have- I mean, obviously... Now we know there's like an energy source obviously for those teleporters or whatever. But why is it hooked into the things like all the way back here? Like I mean it makes sense that, you know, chimerical creatures who we're not even gonna question how they're still alive after five thousand years, alright? Probably siphoning energy from somewhere, but again, how what is powering this place after so long and why hasn't it run out of energy? Um, but even putting that aside why not have... I mean, it's great that you have detection systems. So you obviously can detect where energy is, you know, being... You know, uh, siphoned for um, unauthorized purposes. So so good on the foresight for the Allegons for that. But um, at the same time, why would you not have the teleporters like on a separate energy source or system entirely? Because couldn't you potentially run into? The, I mean, I mean, it, it's possible. It's it's all it's all segregated by the different quadrants. But I need to put cleric stance on. Um, wouldn't it be technically possible for you to kind of get stuck somewhere and the energy is being siphoned from a completely different area? And that you can't do anything to stop it? I mean, again, unless they're completely segregated by zones and you're just simply just trapped in that particular quadrant for the time being, I guess, but other than that, I got nothing. I, I really don't have anything. 
All right, good job, team. Good job. Oh, well, that's nice of you to say. Oh, oh. Have you now? Thanks for the teleporty. Okay, I think that dialogue is all the same. Oh, oh, she says something different. Next quadrant, let's go. You know, just think, you know. It's too bad we don't have the airship in which to fly around in here. Well, now we know where they're holding up. Well, we kind of guessed that before, but now we're actually here. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. Yeah, we'll come back to them later. We have bigger fish to fry right now. They're not going anywhere. I mean, they got like a giant hole or and or dent and or damage in the front of their their flagship, so, uh, yeah. So, yeah, welcome to the Gamma Quadrant. But for now, um, guys, guys, where did you go? Why did you leave me? You bastards! What the hell? Well, fine, fine. Since you scarpled off, we're gonna sit here and wait until you come back, okay? All right, fine. I'm taking a coffee break. Screw you all. Fuck you guys. No, really. Um, but thank you for watching, friends. And we shall continue this next time. Let's see what these nasty Imperials are up to, and let's see if we can't um, kind of sneak some a little bit.